Hey guys, Ratty Cheese here, and in today's video, I will be reviewing another one of the Five Nights at Freddy's 2 YouTube figures. And if you didn't see the last video, I was one of few people to win a whole set of the FNAF 2 figures and pins that YouTube's made. And in today's video, I finally received another one of those figures, which was the marionette. So, let's get started. Alright, so now into the actual unboxing. Here we go. We have the YouTube's box. So, yeah, uh, for my Mango video, I didn't do, like, the actual unboxing with the actual box because I open it beforehand. So, today, we're gonna actually open it. If I can open it. Oh, my God. There we go. We got some sort of... Yeah. It really needs both sides open. Alright. Let me show this. And now opening it, we have the marionette in here. So, and start taking her out. Jeez. Oh, I forgot. Her pin's here too. Whoa, let's take a look at this one first. Here is the marionette pin, pretty cool. And then here's the back side, front again. It's basically the exact same as the figure, but yeah. So let's put that aside for now. And here is the actual figure. I'll take her out of the plastic. So hold on. All right, so now after removing the plastic protector off the, uh, the box, we can get a closer look at the, the sleeve and her box without a reflection. So here we go. We have the front of the box where you can see the purple U2's logo, which is, I, li I like the, the like choice of purple they use. And at the bottom, we can see marionette vinyl figure. And then on this side of the box, we get uh, the basic like concept art of, for her. And with the U2's logo at the top, the back is the exact same where you can see just her name, the vinyl figure, the U2's logo at the bottom, and then the con her like art. And then side of the box just has the FNAF logo and the caution symbol at the bottom. So now removing the sleeve, you can see the U2's logo again. <laughs> and then we have the number 44, which uh, marks her as the 44 what, the FNAF U2's. And at the bottom, we get her name again, vinyl figure, the FNAF logo and collection. And there's her art again. And then on the side of the box is the art too. And then on the other side of the box, we get our first quote being, I don't hate you. And on the back of the box, we get another illustration of her with the YouTube's logo at the top. And we have another quote saying, I'm not afraid of you. Are you afraid of me? And at the bottom, all the warnings. So now we can finally take her out of the box. Uh, but before that, I'd like to say this box, it's pretty cool. I like uh, all the coloring and stuff. Oh, so the bottom of the box, uh, when when is this ever gonna happen the little vault thingy and then here the designers for the marionette youtubes so yeah this the, the box it's really cool it's uh like sometimes you can like see it like down here at the bottom is a good example how it's like supposed to represent the fnaf 2 office and here in the back uh, i guess it's just her poking out of her box no it's her like I think this is supposed to be like the little camera thing. I think, I don't know. Where she's like just pulling the camera back so she could just jump at you or something. But here, another like neat little art. You can see all the wires just hanging down. And at the top is nothing special. It's just her, but yeah. So now we can finally open her up and get a closer look at her. Oh, and I forgot, I forgot about this quote is uh, I think it's just adding on to the, the one down here saying you should be. So yeah, now we can take her out of box. And now first thoughts of her, she's cool. I like that her pose is just like her leaning out of the box or climbing out of the box. But then again, there are some downs to this figure and how you choose like made it so first of all if you get like a closer look to the figure you can like start seeing like little bad paint jobs like around her it's like a little dirty down here like the paint job isn't like the best but 
like here you can see like little weird splotches and then like little splotches all over the place uh but uh let's see but yeah the then we have like little yeah it's just it's just a bunch of minor stuff though so these figures were going for like around 30 bucks when on on the youtube's website and a, a lot of these figures have been getting a bunch of hate due to the quality control that YouTube has putting has been putting on them which it's reasonable since you're spending so much for a supposedly high quality figure and then you get a bunch of like broken stuff or a bunch of just terrible terrible quality but i i like the pose that she's in i i really like that where she's just like leaning out climbing out of her box uh her box is inaccurate too uh the box is not the fnaf 2 box but it's the the box from the five nights of freddy's pizzeria simulator little mini game with the marionette so that that's that's on youtube's they got the wrong like colors on the box and everything so that's something i've seen a lot of people saying about her uh i mean funko did really did better with the marionette pop which i'll actually get to compare the two so now having the two figures side by side, you can clearly tell who did a lot better than the other. I, me personally, I really like the Funko one a lot more than the U2's one, even though there's some disadvantages because this one's the newer one and this is U2's, what, first marionette uh, vinyl figure. Uh, and also this one's in a box while this one's just standing. The Funko one still did a lot better. And even if we did have the original marionette uh funko pop to compare it to the youtube's one it would still be a lot better even though it's missing some details uh but you can clearly like see like how much better the 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 funko one is if we like turn the two to the side i mean yeah well obviously the whole box thing but the 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 funko one is was only 15 bucks so Comparing uh, product with my, how, how much value it was, it was like 30 bucks. And then having a product of only like $15. This one has lots of more advantages being one of Funko's best FNAF Funko Pops. It's one of the best FNAF Funko Pops that Funko has released ever. Besides the, all the ruined ones. Because the ruined ones were also really good. But this marionette Funko Pop is a lot better. And I'm I'm not the biggest fan of marionette, yeah, but this this figure is this U2 is not not the best. I don't know, there's a bunch of air there's like a bunch of like little small mistakes, but yeah. So we can just move her aside and just let's just give a little 360 of the of the u2's figure so there we go this is the u2's marionette vinyl figure so i i guess that concludes the video i still have a bunch more u2 stuff coming on the way I actually have another package with me right now that I haven't opened yet. And then I still have three other things coming in, hopefully soon. So I, I guess that's the end of the video. Uh, this U2s, it, it's an all right U2s, okay? I still highly recommend the Funko one because it's a lot better. And plus this one's sold out so you can't buy it on the U2s website anymore. So yeah, uh, that's the end of the video. Goodbye.